Interactive graphics is foremost about performance and make the computer graphics as beautiful and as realistic as you can. Photorealistic graphics is the reverse. Photorealistic graphics is about making something look photoreal. That is its minimum bar, photoreal. And then do it as fast as you can. We've made some giant breakthroughs in photorealistic rendering. What you're looking at are, in fact, two different images. One is actually a photograph. The other one is computer generated. One of them's a photograph, and the other one's computer generated. It just depends on what you, your eyes pick up, and it depends on how you perceive the world. Some people kind of think the left one is a photograph. Some people think the right one is a photograph. Okay. But in fact, the left one is completely computer generated. Well, this level of capability has amazing applications, whether it's in um, industrial design, architectural design, advertising. You can now affect, you can generate the type of imagery you want to generate without being limited by the capabilities of photography and limited by the capabilities of what exists in the world. However, it is just way too slow. And so, ladies and gentlemen, today, we're introducing a brand new type of system. We call it the iRay VCA, the world's first scalable rendering appliance. Each one of the iRay VCAs is eight GPUs. Each GPU has 12 gigabytes. There are 23,000 total cores. One of the most important things about this appliance is because it sits on the network, the networking capability has to be amazing. And we've got it packed. Two gigies, 200 gigies, and of course, InfiniBand. But what makes the magic of the iRay VCA is software. We made it possible for us to distribute the work across the GPUs within the system, but more importantly, distribute the work across multiple VCAs. You can stack as many VCAs as you like. You can buy as many as you like from me. This is one of the best things. And as a result, we can put together amazing rendering capabilities using these stackable Legos, if you will. Easy to use, easy to integrate. Now, one of the really exciting things is that iRay, the photorealistic renderer, has been incorporated into some of the most important design packages in the world. 3ds Max, Katia, BunkSpeed, Maya. Our goal now is to hook up these applications with iRay VCA so that the work that is done on these design packages on people's workstations, when they like, they can transparently simulate it on a network, and of course, it would come back interactively. Let me show you what it can do. We're going to have a friend of ours, Ide-san from Honda. Uh, he's been working on the iRay VCA, and he's going to show us some pretty amazing capabilities. Ide-san, good morning. Ohio gozaimasu. Good morning. Uh, I'm Ide I'm from Honda Styling Design Department, and he's Paul from MyGenius. And this is our application terms and rendering the uh, real production car here. Okay. That was not a photograph. Now, currently, what you're looking at, the reason why it looks so real to us is because of a technology called ray tracing and global illumination. What's happening is that billions of rays, each one of these frames simulates, not, not computer generate, but simulate light as it photons, as it flies around the scene. It reflects off of and bounces off of the materials that it comes in contact with. But the real magic is what happens when it bounces into small, nooks and crannies of the car. And all of a sudden, those 
when the light bounces off the surface, they become, in fact, a lighting surface as well. They call that global illumination. Everything in the scene is lighting everything else in the scene. Okay, as a result of that, you see soft shadows, self-casting shadows. In the seams of the door, you see those soft shadows. And what's really remarkable, as you zoom into the headlights, the crystalline nature of the headlights really come alive. But you know, you look at the out, we've seen a lot of rendering of the outside of cars. So, uh, by the way, this is a billion rays. Um, rays are bouncing anywhere from uh, zero to one bounce to as many as hundreds and thousands of bounces. We're simulating right now this particular car on 19 iRay VCAs working together. In total, it is one petaflops. This demo is brought to you by one petaflops, which represents the fastest supercomputer in the world only six years ago. This demo would have cost us a half a billion dollars to do for you. And now we're running it on 19 iRay VCAs. Now, the thing that's really amazing about this data is, and hey, son, let's show them what's inside. Okay. This is not just a model. This is a real car. Is that unbelievable? Let's stop there. Now, as a result of technology like this, designers and industrial designers could virtualize their design capability. As a result, they can reduce the amount of prototyping that they do. You could just imagine how expensive it is to prototype these designs these days. And now you can visualize it and have a feeling for it because it is, in fact, photorealistic. And all of the materials are physically accurate. What that means is each one of these materials were scanned in using a special scanner, and the properties, the light reflection and reflectance properties of the light is captured mathematically. So every single surface reflects and is perceived by our eyes in the way that it looks in real life. It's physically accurate, physically simulated. This is a light simulation. This is a simulation and not computer graphics. And as a result, you're looking at shadows that look realistic, the way that the, the light uh, passes through the windows look realistic. Let's go inside the car. What is it like if you wanted to design, if your ind ind industrial designers want to see what's inside? Now, of course, you see the sparkles, and what's happening is that the supercomputer is trying to resolve these pixels. They're following all these photons all over the place. These billion photons are bouncing all over the place, and it takes some time for it to finally reach your eyes. Okay, don't forget 3D is a projection. What we're looking at here is 3D mathematics, but projected to you in 2D space. And so eventually those photons reach your eyes. And if you just gave it a second, look how realistic this looks. It's really amazing. That's fantastic. Thank you, Desan. Thank you. And so if you were to take a look at this in performance, this is what you get. We were looking at 19 iRay VCAs. 19 iRay VCAs. And this one, this puppy here, is one server of iRay VCA. If you were to compare that, the applications that incorporate iRay, whether it's 3ds Max or Katia, running iRay, compared to a CPU-only workstation, is about five to six times the performance, five to six times the speed up. If you connect it and this iRay VCA to the network, and the workload goes directly to this iRay VCA, the speed up is now some 60, 70 times. 60 to 70 times speed up. What would take a minute takes a second. What would take an hour now takes a minute. Fantastic speed up. Well, if you were to buy 60 workstations, and let's assume that you can figure out a way to cluster them all together, 60 workstations doing this work together, $60, $5,000 for a Quadro K5000 workstation, that's $300,000 worth of workstations you have to rack together. 
for an amazing price of just $50,000, six times the value. You can now have the iRay VCA connected to your network and render photorealistically instantaneously in an interactive manner. Ladies and gentlemen, the iRay VCA. I think it's fun to show them one more thing on iRay VCA. Um, you know, just now you saw the car uh, in a garage. Why don't, we, why don't we show them just one more demo? This looks like a photograph of the stage. And in fact, the way that this is done, um, our camera crew came here and took some pictures in high dynamic range, inserted the camera, inserting, inserted the images into iRay, used the images in a way of computer graphics called image-based lighting, turn iRay back on, and all of a sudden, this car looks like it's inside this environment. Can we, um, this is obviously not a photograph. Can we spin it around a bit? Is that amazing? An entire world simulator right in front of you. iRay VCA. The application of this is really fantastic. Obviously, you want to see the nature of your product in all kinds of different environments. You want, when you launch a car, and let's say you were launching one of those rare cars, um, pick one, uh, recently favorite one, the Lamborghini Veneno, um, a, a reasonable price of four and a half million dollars each, um, it's unlikely that they're going to have showrooms for that. Um, and so one of the best ways for them to do it, of course, is to render it in physically accurate way, photorealistic way, and if you want to project what that car feels like in China or at the base of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, you just have photographers take pictures in high dynamic range, bring it back in, render it like this, and that car has gone to Paris, that car has gone to China, that car has gone to wherever those markets need to go. iRay VCA.